Okay, now I want to look at um, shading this shape, um, and we're going to use again a fairly standard light direction, a sort of quick uh, three-quarter light direction. So it's coming from you know this direction and this angle, so down it this way, which would obviously give us a highlight, a center light right about there in the middle, and the shadow is going back a little bit and it's going to hit the ground surface. So basically you can construct it from this middle point, the, the, um, the cast shadow, and you've got your rotational axis, so we can use that as well. So the light direction is this, from your rotational axis, that's, you need to know where the ground surface is, the rotational axis can go out in that direction. And then from this widest point, choose a light angle, and I can say that, you know, is okay, light angle. Then I'm going to put this ellipse here on the ground. Um, so around the same width, and you can see it's just going to be a little bit like it's going to be a bit rounder than the than this one. So a little bit the minor axis of this ellipse is bigger, um, and this is an important part here that it's sort of. You see it because the light is going to come past this edge and it's going to create a shadow here on the ground. Mm. So, just estimating that. Um, and then you can put in your cast shadow. Uh, I can see this here, this marker is running out already. So once you've got that main edge, then you can just so it's a quick and effective way of giving that some volume. Okay, um, so that's the cast shadow. Now um, for the form shadow, um, a ball shape is going to have, just like the moon when it's lit, it's going to have a half will be in the light and half will be in the shadow. Um, but the half is obviously defined by where the light source is. Um, so what we need to do is basically just tilt this ellipse um, towards this angle and that will give us our shadow side. So if I draw an ellipse, tilted ellipse here, then it's going to give me the line where the actual shadow starts. Um, now you can draw this with just with a, a chalk gradient um, or you could use um, a marker. I would start with a fairly light marker and, um, and maybe just a light grey and just uh, fill at first just the shadow side in try and make it a little bit darker here the core shadow um, and of course with a marker it's very hard to get a, a nice smooth um, gradient you're getting a fairly sudden jump into the dark um, side of it. So um, you can keep it a little bit sketchy. Um, I'm going to now just use a bit of, um, of chalk. I've got some fairly dark blue um, chalk and so I'm going to see how I go with adding that. Um, And I'm basically just going over in circle motions around this ball, and I'm trying to create a nice gradient. Um, my highlight's going to be about there, so just slowly going towards that 
I might want a little bit of colour on that back edge and I can always rub it off a little bit so I'll go over that a few times Um, and then maybe even just rub off a little bit there just to give it a bit more light. Okay, so um, obviously you don't need to draw all those construction lines if you're just drawing a ball shape. You basically can just draw a, um, a circle um, and put, a sh put shading on it. So I can also do it. just draw a circle. Um, I might want this line just to give it a bit more volume and um, a drop shadow, a cast shadow. Um, so I want to know. So I've got those basic lines. Um, and I put some shadows and I very quickly get a uh, a round shape. Because the amount of precision you want really depends on what you're doing. You're going to take more time with your sketch, or you're going to just do a quick idea sketches that all affects how you are going to approach um, your drawing. So I'll just scrape off a bit of chalk here. Um, just to see how quickly we can get this to look round. So remember that half moon shape is going to be the shadow side And then just moving up towards the light source, which will, the light, light of this light will be about here. I know I can rub off a bit, so. And the darkest dark should be around here. Um, I'll rub off a bit more here just to get a bit more light on it. Highlight and clean up the edge. Okay, so there you get a quick um, ball.